Hello everyone. First of all, I want to apologize for the way I sound. I lost my voice. If you find it, please let me know. In this video, we're going to be solving for a logarithmic equation. We have x to the power log 2x equals 5, and we're going to be solving for x. So let's start, start by logging both sides. And then we're going to move the exponent. Now we can go ahead and write log 2x by using the properties. We can write it as a sum. And then by way of substitution, we can turn this into a quadratic equation. Let log x equal y. This gives us y times y plus log 2 equals log 5. And then we get y squared plus the quantity log 2 multiplied by y minus log 5 is equal to 0. I mean at this point if you want you can turn log 5 into log 2 but we'll do that later. Okay so from here by using the quadratic formula we can write y equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Now at this point I want to convert log 5 into log 2 by using the fact that log 5 is log 10 over 2 which can be written as log 10 minus log 2 which can be written as 1 minus log 2. If you do the replacement you're going to get 4 times this which is 4 minus 4 log 2. So I did the replacement here. I replaced the log 5 with that and then that is divided by 2. Now if you look at the expression inside the radical carefully that's actually the discriminant so let's go ahead and write it as delta equals log 2 squared minus 4 times log 2 plus 4 which can be written as log 2 minus 2 quantity squared so our discriminant is a perfect square sort of something squared uh, that way we can simplify it so from here y can be written as negative log 2 plus minus when you square root the discriminant you're going to get plus minus log 2 minus 2 and all of that divided by 2 and then from here if you split up the solutions you're going to get negative log 2 plus log 2 minus 2 divided by 2 log 2 is going to cancel out and you're going to get y equals negative 1 or you're going to get the opposite inside the parentheses here we are getting uh, the negative 2 times log 2 so 2 minus that so I'm going to divide everything by 2 and that's going to give me 1 minus log 2 after division by 2 right because the top is going to be the top is going to be 2 minus 2 log 2 and I'm going to divide it by 2. Great. Now if I replace 1 with log 10 as before I can just write this as log 10 over 2 which can be written as log 5. So y has two values y is either log 5 or y is negative 1. There are two possible y values therefore there is going to be two possible x values. Let's go ahead and see what we used y for. So we said y equals log x. y equals log x and we know that y can be negative 1. From here we get if because the base is 10 here when we write log by the way I mean base 10 not the 
ln. Okay, if I if I mean ln, I'm gonna write it that way. From here, x becomes 10 to the power negative 1, which can be written as 1 tenth. Or if y is equal to log 5, that is a simple equation, log x equals log 5, and that implies x equals 5. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.